there are many, many ethical issues within tourism. I mean, the travel and tourism industry is the biggest industry in the world, so it's bound to have its problems. One of the major issues in terms of ethical tourism is the distribution of income. The travel and tourism industry makes a lot of money. However, this money is not distributed evenly. More often than not, the vast majority of wealth made from the tourism industry goes to large Western corporations. Even if we concentrate on an area of tourism that is in the developing world, much of the income from tourism is still swallowed up by international organisations. This is known as economic leakage. Inherently, most of the jobs in the travel and tourism industry pay low salaries. Think the chef in your hotel restaurant, the maid who cleans your beds, and the theme park operator at the fun fair. None of these people are likely to earn very much. Tourism can also cause other negative economic impacts, such as gentrification, which is when the local people are pushed out of the area that they have traditionally lived in because the cost of living has risen too much for them to afford to stay. The travel and tourism industry can also have many ethical implications when it comes to access to services and facilities. The tourism industry is known to use and abuse local areas and resources. This is often at the detriment of the local population. Take golf, for example. Golf requires a huge amount of water in order to be maintained. In some parts of the world where there are water shortages, this means that local people may go without the essential water that they need for cooking, washing, etc. All at the expense of the tourism industry. The travel and tourism industry, unfortunately, is also known to be a catalyst for the exploitation of children. Sadly, children are exploited within the tourism industry more often than we care to admit. Have you ever bought an item from a child who is selling things on the street? If the answer is yes, then you are helping to fuel this exploitation. If the parents know that their kids can make money from tourism, they will continue to keep them out of school and working on the streets. There are many jobs that kids do that are indirectly linked to the tourism industry too, from working in factories, to farm work, to begging, to sex tourism. Obviously, none of this is good for the child, nor the surrounding community. Similarly, the travel and tourism industry can also cause the exploitation of women. There are many women who are exploited within the tourism industry. The most obvious example of this is through sex tourism. This is particularly prominent in Southeast Asia, amongst other parts of the world. However, this isn't the only way that women are exploited within the travel and tourism industry. Most of the top jobs are done by men. Typically, women are paid less, even if they are doing the same job. And many women just are not given the same opportunities that men are. The sex tourism industry is pretty significant. Many people like to pretend it doesn't exist, but the truth is that sex tourism is a multi-million dollar industry. It's incredibly sad that many people who work in the sex trade do not want to be there. Some people are forced into this line of work against their will, and some people just feel that they have no other option. Some of these people are only children. Sadly, animals also often suffer at the hands of the tourism industry. If we are to be ethical tourists, we need to take animal welfare seriously. Wildlife tourism has moved towards the forefront of consumer awareness in recent years. People are now largely empathetic of animal rights and welfare, which is a good thing. Nowadays, people are preferring to visit safari parks over zoos. They are preferring to go to animal sanctuaries and conservation products and do volunteer work, rather than to do things like riding elephants or hugging tigers, the likes of which have received a lot of negative publicity in recent years, and rightly so. Nonetheless, the maltreatment of animals does sadly continue to happen in many contexts around the world. Is it ethical to ride a dolphin? Is it ethical to pat a cat who wants to be left alone in a cat cafe? Is it ethical to ride an elephant? In most cases, probably not. One of the most well-known ethical issues associated with the travel and tourism industry is environmental destruction. It's ironic, really, that tourism all too often destroys the environment that it relies on. We go to visit a beautiful beach, yet we leave behind litter at the end of the day, making it not so beautiful anymore. For tourism to be ethical, stakeholders need to ensure that any damage to the environment is minimised. This includes a wide range of things, such as reducing our CO2 emissions, picking up litter, and reducing the amount of plastic that we use, to name just a few examples. And there are many cultural impacts of tourism too. There are many different ways that tourism can adversely affect culture. 
It can take away the authenticity of an area, of a culture. It causes globalization. We are all becoming more the same than we ever have before. Some people are no longer wearing their traditional clothes or speaking their traditional language. Many tourists are not mindful of local cultures. They're not mindful of religions and they're not mindful of customs. And as a result, they offend the local population. An ethical tourist would not walk around topless in a Muslim country, for example. However, if that tourist doesn't know about the local culture and the rights and wrongs associated with that, then they may unintentionally demonstrate unethical behaviour. Ethical Amy, EA, has just started working for Top Sun Hotel and Resort. Mary, who has been working for them for the last five years, is teaching EA the ropes. Mary explains to EA that, as a server, it is her job to take orders and deliver food to the poolside guests. Mary discusses that the days can be long, so sometimes she sneaks food or makes a drink for herself. Mary then explains it's no big deal because she knows that her friend Annie in housekeeping has occasionally taken forgotten items from the rooms after guests have left. She tells EA that no one is getting hurt from a few drinks here and there and the guests forgot the items, right? EA is a bit concerned about this behavior, so she asks what Mary and Annie do if their supervisors ever ask about missing items or increasing food costs. Puzzled, Mary explains that they just pretend they don't know anything. They are not really harming anyone, so there is no need to discuss it. EA explains to Mary that her behavior is unethical. Ethics are the established principles that form a belief system that differentiates what is right and what is wrong. EA then discusses that ethics are especially important in the hospitality industry because workers are faced with a broad range of ethical dilemmas. Hospitality workers and professionals often have the opportunity to do something against an ethical value, such as taking food because it's no big deal. In an ethical dilemma, a person chooses between doing what is wrong or doing what is ethical because it is the right thing to do. Some of the most important ethics in the hospitality industry include integrity, trustworthiness, respect for others, accountability. Each of these ethics are essential to supporting an ethical environment. EA explains that integrity, or the internal force which drives a person's honesty and desire to do the right things, is one of the most important ethics. She tells Mary that her willingness to break the rules or lie shows a lack of integrity. If a company in the hospitality industry doesn't have integrity, then their clients can't trust that they will serve their best interests. EA explains that trust is essential to integrity. She tells Mary that if you can't be trustworthy or able to be trusted, customers won't come back and supervisors won't give you good tasks. However, the same goes for supervisors. They must be trustworthy so that the staff feel that they can approach them. If there is a lack of trust, the entire company will suffer. EA tells Mary that every time she takes food or makes a drink for herself, she is indicating to the company that she isn't trustworthy. In addition to being trustworthy, EA explains that having respect for others is also an essential ethical principle. Respect for others means that you are interested in doing what is good for others and you value them as a person. This includes respect for clients and co-workers. She tells Mary that respect for others builds trust and shows that you are interested in the overall well-being of the organization you work for. For example, every time Annie takes something from a room, she is showing a lack of respect for the guests. When she does, it decreases the trust that the customer will have in the location. This can cause them to never come back. Last, but certainly not least, EA tells Mary that accountability means taking responsibility for your work and also your behavior and interactions in the workplace. Accountability is another essential ethical value. The hospitality industry is a service industry that deals with the public, and complaints, conflicts, and differences of opinion are common. 
When workers hold themselves accountable and take responsibility for all of their decisions and actions, it makes it easier to avoid problems and to solve them when they occur. EA then explains that she, Mary, and Annie should all be accountable. Together, they can form a strong team that serves the clients and guests to the best of their ability. Now that Mary understands ethics are important for the individuals working in the hospitality industry, EA tells her that these same ethics are important for the industry as a whole. All organizations that work in the hospitality industry, including restaurants, resorts, and catering services, are faced with several ethical dilemmas. They face issues of food waste, environmental damage due to high electrical and water usage, and in some cases they may be imposing on local cultures. EA tells Mary to think about the resorts they are working at now. They are in the heart of the Costa Rica Resort Center. With high local poverty and a sensitive environment, Top Sun has to maintain high ethical standards in order to ensure that they are not too wasteful of local resources and that they give back to the local economy. This means that the ethics that are important for the staff working for the organization are just as important for the company as a whole. EA wraps up by explaining to Mary the importance of ethics. She tells her, ethics, or the established principles and guidelines used in an organization, are important to fostering a good workplace culture. In hospitality, they are essential to keeping the business running. A hospitality company with poor ethics will not be able to keep customers, and staff satisfaction will plummet. There will be ethical dilemmas, though, which are when a person must choose between doing what is wrong or doing what is ethical because it is the right thing to do. The following list highlights some of the most important ethics in hospitality. Integrity, which is the internal force which drives a person's honesty and desire to do the right things. Trustworthiness, which is the ability to be trusted. Respect for others, which means that you are interested in doing what is good for others and you value them as a person. Accountability, or taking responsibility for your work and also your behavior and interactions in the workplace. If anyone ceases to follow one of these ethical principles, it can be extremely damaging to the business. Good ethics make the working environment a happy place and increase customer satisfaction.